dresses are incredibly intricate. When we went to Beirut and we saw how delicate the materials are and the sequins and the beading, how do you put a price on a handmade gown, on a, a bespoke handmade gown versus ready to wear? Honestly, with haute couture, not like Pret-a-Porter, uh, we don't think about the cost of the of the price or the hour or the fabric for how much or how many hours of embroidery because it's haute couture. Always everybody asks me, what you prefer to do, haute couture or pret -a porter I say always, sure, I prefer haute couture because in haute couture, no limit. We can dream, we can change, we can put more. The world of haute couture is another world. It's, it's more dreamy, more genuine, more uh, <laughs> generous to do everything. Um, when you're designing your haute couture, you're in Beirut and you're in Paris. I have two studios. Still the heart of the haute couture is Beirut. And that's despite regional conflict, so much has happened over the last 30 years, you're still very, very keen to be in Lebanon, to be in Beirut. It's where you started. It's I'm, important. I'm, I'm very proud like I'm in Beirut and all my product uh, uh, of haute couture is made in Lebanon and made in Beirut. So no matter what's happening in the region, it gets crazy, you are going to be in Beirut uh, for the long term. I want to stay in Beirut and stay and stay. I feel like my heart, my, my life, it's, I'm, I'm so attached about my, uh, uh, for my country, for I, what I present in haute couture, all what I produce in Lebanon, I feel, I feel very good. When you went to Paris to study design, you didn't stay very long, you only stayed a year. How important was that to your progression or genesis as a designer? How much did you need to, for that one year in Paris? I start too soon. Mm -hmm. And I, when I come to Paris, I, I, I let myself say like, let me go like I don't know anything. I spent like less than a year, I feel I feel a little stupid, like I spent time for nothing, I can start my life. Really? Yes. I believe like my story is not like any other designer, but I'm proud and I do it with, uh, with a goodwill. <laughs> I come back to Beirut and I, I, I build my, my first uh, uh, atelier and uh, I present my first collection and from this day, here you are. <laughs>